Today is a very gloomy and rainy day. We also have a tornado warning going on. With that, that's the perfect opportunity for me to work in our barn. Also, I need to load up my new reels so that way I can use them on my next cow move out on pasture. When we get a lot of rain, this barn does leak. And sometimes when it does rain like this, I'll just come in here and just sit and just see where the water's coming in. While reeling up these reels, it is kind of relaxing because you got the rain coming down and I'm just in here with some music and just hanging out. wire has been pushing down her shelter and I need to move it up because it looks like it's gonna fall over even though these these two are so gentle compared to feeder pigs but they're still pigs but they could still move a shelter if they wanted to these are our meat chickens our Cornish cross chickens Check their water, they need water. Yeah. Just scoop it out. One of our new geese, we put them with the meat chickens, and then we have the other one with their turkeys. I also added a couple Cornish crosses with the turkeys just to kind of show them like, hey, this is how you eat food. We only have nine turkeys now, guys. I mean, this has only been week one with these turkeys and we lost six. Okay. Penelope is helping with chores this morning before I take her to homeschool. Right, Penelope? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the homeschool dad, but I'm also the janitor here, making sure everything's running smooth here. Can't be late because the teacher might get mad at me. Bernice, good morning, Bernice. Our new automatic door has been working really well. It let them out already, guys. They didn't have to do it this morning. Fuzzy, your hair fuzzy. Come on. Meat chickens are looking good, they're looking healthy, they're looking big. <laughs> Let's move on to the Beef Brothers. This is my new rig setup guys, look at this. I started hanging the reels on the side here of the gorilla cart. We got my posts. 
I got three reels now. We're gonna do something a little bit different today, moving these two. Um, we're gonna do like a pie shaped, like a wagon wheel is what they call it. Uh, wagon wheel move, where it's kind of like picture of, kind of like, a, I guess you're slicing a pie and it's like moving like this in a circle. The water's gonna stay in a central location and then they will always have access to it. Here, let's see. I'm still learning these reels, so. Okay, go ahead. We're gonna start at the furthest point with this reel and then make our way over to the water. I'm still not sure if that's correct or if you should start by the water and then make our way out to the furthest point. Put this loop on this corner here. I'm new at this just as much as she is. <laughs> So we're we're learning together here today. Pull it and then just follow those those posts. This is very much an art form, I think. It's an expression of art <laughs> when you move cows and try to figure out where you want this line at. We want to try to avoid the apple trees. This is our orchard here that we started. So we're trying to avoid these. Because I'm pretty sure that, that the two beeves will eat them. This this line is in, so now we got to do the other side where it goes diagonal that way. And then right here is where we're going to let the two in to the new new grass. And then they'll still have access to the water. First thoughts on uh, new reels. Yes, you do need a reel. <laughs> this makes everything so easy and simple, you know, like pretty much one-handed. So thank you guys for sending me this. You know, I thought I'd try to get through the season without getting a reel. And, you know, just because I felt like, eh, it's probably not needed. I could probably get away with it. Um, but now having it, again, it's one of those things, just like a chicken coop door. Once you have it, you realize, yeah, you do need these. So now I want to get, like, all the reels, all the wire needs to have a reel. It's just going to make your life easier. <laughs> So those two are up. Now we need to wind up this middle one right here. And hopefully they'll walk right through. Into your plan. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is working, Penelope. <laughs> Hold on guys, bear with me. <laughs> As I wind up my tangled webs. <laughs> Let's move. Come on. We've had these two for two months now. And this was the first time that I felt confident and positive on their move. The previous times I moved them is either I didn't like where I moved them, I didn't like how I moved them, and I just wasn't happy about it. But this is the first time I was like, yes, I think this is the way I'm supposed to do it. They got shade right here. Plus they have access to their water still. Thanks for your help, Teach. I'm gonna put their minerals out this way. Out away from their water. Still got plenty of minerals in there. today I'm just kind of cleaning up you got to get to a certain point you're doing a bunch of projects and stuff of that you have to like stop and recalibrate <laughs> you know like almost like okay let's start all over here let's clean up let's figure out what's next on the list what works for me while I think about it is start organizing we have these minerals these are our, our two cow steer minerals and it, this is not practical here to be in a in a cardboard box you know we need to keep it out of the elements I do have a little bit of uh, peace of mind now, now that our our feed is all in these barrels
These two are feed. That's my trash bucket. I think I need more buckets. I'm trying to reassess the bucket situation. All of them seem to have holes like that. Um, this is a good bucket, had apple cider vinegar. This bucket, the handle broke on it. This one has holes in it. This used to be on old chicken nipple water. I have just a lot of old chicken waters that I've tried out and not, not too crazy about, like these ones. These are the bigger waters. These are okay, but you know, I'm just not crazy about them. When we first moved in, we kind of just threw everything in here because we could not, did not have access to our home yet. But the owner allowed us to put our stuff in here, so you know, we've been picking through it and slowly putting stuff in places, but there's a lot of things in here that I'm not sure what to do with. Like pallets, you know, pallets don't need to be in here. It's funny, when we first moved to North Carolina, I could not find a free pallet for the life of me. I just could not find them nowhere. So I ended up buying four pallets at five bucks a piece. And now, I've got all the pallets I need. I ended up making a compost bin with my $5 pallets back in the day. We lost another, we lost another turkey. Guys, this is, uh, what did I say? I lost count. I think this is seven. We have eight left. Eight left of turkeys. It hasn't even been a week yet. Today is also burn day here. We're burning some of our trees, making some, maybe making some biochar. Maybe use some of this out in the fields after we're done with it or in our raised garden beds over here. What's for dinner? We've got hamburgers and french fries and a salad, homemade dressing and some of our favorite toppings and some beans. Oh, okay. Wanted to check on the cows, feed the chickens another time. <laughs> These guys are big. <laughs> Little brother, why do you like standing in the water? <laughs> <laughs> 